Here's how you can check the fluke differential voltmeter for internal calibration consistency. We will first take, uh, this is dial E, which is right now 0.01 volts, and we can go through each dial 0, 1, 2, 3, and you can see on the dial it moves the appropriate amount on the bottom scale 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the last dial has a 10 on it, and it goes up to the one which is a 10. And then if we take this dial, it'll move the whole screen, and we can shift to the uh, the most sensitive mode, and this moves the full scale. Then we uh, move this dial uh, with the setting, and we see it goes full scale, and we can go to the next dial and go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there is no 10. And this dial will move full scale. And then we can move to the 10 volt sensitivity and 10 volt sensitivity that will move full scale and this will go through each voltage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and it'll only go up to 9. And then to test the next dial we can drop the, the, the sensitivity, we say 50 volts and this moves up and so now the 10 volts is on here and we can check this dial through each one of the voltages and there's no 10 and like I said that, that moves full scale and we can drop this down to 0.5. So, point, well actually 5 volts. This will move each one of the positions. And it always goes up to 4. But we can make it more sensitive. And this moves full scale. And we've already tested this one that goes through each one of the voltages. So, we've tested all of these knobs prove that each of the knob, the resistors that are in there, are still in calibration good order. For this old Fluke Differential Voltmeter Model 803, one of the early versions. Uh, let's just show you another thing here. There's this load on here. Uh, let me just go back again. Uh, okay, so if we move this dial, it moves full scale, right? Okay, I take this load off of here. So that the input, what you say, it's zero volts there, right? Hey, I get nothing, you know? I can turn this thing up to 500 volts. M meter moves a little bit, but it comes right back. Why? Because the load isn't on there. You have to balance the load, the input, so that the uh, uh, indications are correct. Let's use the Fluke differential voltmeter the way it was intended to be. I have a Keithley meter here. It's a pretty old one six, model 168 measuring this old al alkaline lantern battery. It's supposed to be 6 volts, but it only reads 4.62. 4 4.61. We're going to disconnect the Keithley so it doesn't affect the readings. I'm going to connect it to the Fluke and in VTVM mode, 
it says it's about four and a half volts. But we'll we'll go by what the Keithley says. All right, so I'm going to set this to a high range. I'm going to set this to 4.63, which is what the Keithley said it was. And let's see how close we can get. Okay, it says it's a little higher. It's probably closer to 5 volts. And that's a little high. It's probably five a little high, so we'll go back down to the four. And so, and now I have a problem with this. It drifts a little bit. That's because it's kind of old. But this says the internal voltage of this battery is 4.99. It's almost 5 volts. And that's because there is practically no current being drawn out of this battery with the differential voltmeter because the uh, differential voltmeter is balancing that meter. When the meter is at zero, there's no current being consumed out of this battery. Therefore, it's reading the internal cell of this battery and it says that it's closer to 5 volts internal.